And now, a special presentation from Hammer Zucker, Weston Condick, and Matt Myers. Cast in chemistry. Goes blue. I'm Hannah Zucker from Independent Study in Chemistry, and this is my Glow Blue demo. I'm mixing hydrogen peroxide with a solution of luminol. The hydrogen peroxide steals electrons from the luminol and causes it to emit a bright blue glow. The presence of a catalyst like iron speeds up the reaction. This property makes luminol useful in forensic science. A total of a solution of luminol and hydrogen peroxide can detect trace amounts of blood at a crime scene. Hi, I'm Weston Connick, and I'm going to do my casting Go Blue demo. What I have today is a blue bottle experiment for you guys, and right here, this is my blue bottle. It's not too blue right now, but uh, what's in here, it's not just water, even though it looks like water, but it's clear. I have sodium hydroxide, a sugar, and methylene blue. Now, when methylene blue is reacted with a hydrogen ion, it's a nice bright blue color. Well, right now, there's no hydrogen ions in solution. They're all in the air right here. Now, when I shake this bottle up, I get a nice bright blue color. Now right now the hydrogen ions are leaving the solution right now and in a few seconds this will actually be clear. The hydrogen ions are produced from the gluconic acid that's produced from the sodium hydroxide and the sugar reacting. Now right here I have the exact same solution just a day old. You can see the yellow color and that's uh, the gluconic acid that's decomposed. So when I shake the solution up again I get a black color because the blue and the yellow actually produce a dark brown, almost black color. That's my Kessel Blue Ball experiment, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your staff meeting, I guess. So, thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Matt Meyer from the Chemistry Independent Study class, and this is my Become Blue demo. I'm performing a simple titration using a weak base, sodium hydroxide, and a weak acid, phosphoric acid, in the presence of an indicator as a litmus. This indicator will change colors in different pH ranges. Azolitmin begins as a reddish orange at low pHs, but transforms into a wonderful Kenston blue at high pHs, as demonstrated by my experiment. Yeah.